Hi everyone, we are having some afternoon tea together today. I I don't know what I was about to tell you. I can't think of what to talk about. This never happens to me. Oh well, I guess we just dig in. So today I have a homemade jam scroll and just some chopped up banana. Really, really simple snack. I'm just gonna take a bite. Mmm. That's really good. And I feel funny saying that because I made them myself. <laughs> oh well. It's okay to brag, but it's true, right? So there's strawberry jam on this. Um, and I thought that would go really nice with banana. Mmm. I'm not fancy at all today. You can tell I've got no makeup on. I've had a work from home day today. Yeah, so it's been a work from home day today. I generally work a couple of hours each day. I try not to go over the two hour mark and I try not to work on weekends or evenings. I just find that the more I simplify what I do for a living, the more balanced I am in general and the less cranky I am in my family. Also, I think I'm just a touch lazy. Which might explain why I love mukbang videos so much because you can just sit down and eat. A little bit of editing here and there and then I just upload it and then ha ha, I'm with you guys. Nice and easy. Whereas with my other YouTube channels and businesses, that's a little more complicated. I can't really upload um, as regularly there because there's more editing to do on my videos for my organizing channel, for example. I mean, let's be honest, I'm still pretty lazy about it. I literally just film myself cleaning or cooking or decluttering stuff that I would do anyway at home, but I put it on camera and that way I can kind of share with other people on YouTube how I do it, which hopefully helps other people who need ideas. Um, and it means that, you know, that's me kind of getting out there and doing stuff every day. Not every day. Every day is kind of a pipe dream as much as possible. And then on my third channel, which I don't think many of you know about, I just share some simple business tips. So the things that I do online and the way that I kind of um, hack them, like the little hacks that I set up so that I can be productive without having to work an eight hour day, that stuff I share on a third channel, which is ironic because everything I do is really meant to be simple. But here I am with three different YouTube channels. Oh well, what can you do? Mmm. These are so good. I have the recipe for these on... What? Wait, do I have the recipe for these on YouTube? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I call them jammy scrolly things. E easy jammy scrolly things. I am not so good at coming up with titles. Anyway, this is basically just my regular bread dough, and then I have it, roll it out, put jam all over one side, sprinkle a handful of sugar on top of the jam, put the other half back on so it's all like one big rectangle sandwich type of dough, and then I roll it into scrolls and bake it. That's it. And they turn out like cute little roses. And bananas are the easiest fruit in the world, let's be honest. You just peel them and eat them. Nothing to it. So what's new with you guys? What have you been up to? Thank you. I got a few lovely messages over the weekend from people who went, we missed you last week. Where have you been? It was really sweet of you. So thank you, my lovelies. I just had a busy week last week and I couldn't, I couldn't film much in public. It's, it's harder to eat and talk and film 
in public than you think it is <laughs> because I get quite paranoid of people um, interrupting or staring, thinking I'm crazy. It's fine for people to stumble across my crazy on YouTube, but in real life it's different. Hmm. Plus, I get quite worried that I'll accidentally film somebody without their permission and not know. I mean, I know everybody has a camera phone these days, but I don't really want to put someone on the internet by accident. What if they're in the witness protection scheme? Okay, maybe I watch too many spy movies. That's probably unlikely. Speaking of movies. A simple favour starts soon. Hmm. Actually, I think it officially opens today in Australia. It's the Blake Lively Anna Kendrick movie, and it looks really good in the trailers. So I really want to see that. I'll probably go next week at some point. I don't think I've been to the movies this week. Have I? All the days blend together. But recently, sorry. Recently I did go and see Book Club. The Book Club? It's one with Jane Fonda, Candice Bergen. Who else was in that? Not Betty White. <laughs> Mary Steenbergen. Diane Lane. Now, I've got to tell you, I heard a lot of bad reviews about this movie. And I can see why the people who hate it hated it. It's cheesy, it's stereotypical, there's a lot of focus on um, looks and beauty, but a very unnatural version of that. It's a little kooky, but personally, I can think of worse ways to spend a couple of hours. I will watch anything in the movies. Oh, anything, anything at all. B grade, D grade, comedy, horror, thriller, whatever. I get a little bit sick of those silly boys movies where it's all like dirt, dirty college humour, but if it's funny, okay, but mm, you know, like American Pie, mm -mm. not a fan, crass humour, crass humour, not a big fan. That said, I've still seen the movies. I love movies. Hmm. So my point is, it wasn't a good movie, it wasn't a great movie, but it was still better than going to the dentist, no offence to the dentist out there. It was well styled, it was beautiful, the scenes were beautiful, the homes were beautiful, it had some funny moments, it had some sweet moments, it had some unexpected moments. Really, I really didn't mind it at all. Not my favourite, but yeah. What else have I seen lately? Mile 22? 22 mile? I don't know. The one with Marky Mark. Mark Wahlberg. I saw that. That was really good. Brutal. Brutal. I did spend a lot of it watching like this. But it was very, very... What's the word? Riveting. It was riveting. So I really want to see a simple favour. I can't think of anything else that's out at the moment. There is a horror movie out called The Nun that I just don't have the guts to see because I haven't seen any of the other movies that are linked to it. I'm pretty sure it's tied in with The Conjuring somehow. Haven't seen any of those yet. And I've just spent 
a few days watching the whole of season one of American Horror Story. And that was... I know I'm six years behind on that one, but... Mm. It was very clever. Oh, but it was so creepy. Yum. So creepy. I think I like thrillers better than horrors. Because with the thriller, you're kind of guessing, it's suspenseful. It's not just there to scare you. I remember last year I watched this one thriller, which was about this lady who had a head injury and it triggered this thing that she had then where she couldn't remember faces. So she'd look at someone's face and then turn around and then look back and their face would look different again. What is that called? It was on Netflix. Anyway. So she didn't recognise her friends or her husband or herself. I don't even think she recognised her own face. Crazy. Anyway, that was a that was like an E grade movie, but it was still good. I enjoyed it. Oh. If you're wondering, these are just little jewels on my shirt. It looks really weird. Picking through my hair like that. Sorry. Well, today has been quite a rambly mukbang, hasn't it? But I really do feel like we just had lunch together. And this is the stuff I talk about with friends in real life as well. So, yeah. Hopefully you haven't found it too strange. <laughs> okay. That's it from me today, everybody. It was a lovely snack. Thank you for joining me. Please hit thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit subscribe and tap the bell if you haven't joined our little community already. I'd love to have you here for more lunches. And make sure you comment and let me know what you want to talk about in a future video or what would you like to eat together. <laughs> we could plan it ahead and, and have the same thing one day. Um, I do lunch and snacks mostly, so I'm pretty open. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go and I will see you in the next video.